Welcome back to another Let's Plant Recap. My name is Chuck and this is the show where I look at your comments from the past week and react to them. You might notice a lot of differences compared to the previous recaps. I usually record my recaps Friday night but my wife has picked up weekend night shifts and that meant I can't stay late at night anymore. Mainly because I have to put Zach to sleep and Zach can be a light sleeper. As soon as he senses that I move and get out of the bed, he would also get up no matter how sleepy he is. I have to be there the whole time. You might also notice that I don't have plants in front of me. I have some tools and these are just some of the tools that I would need to work on the raised bed. So I've got a couple of uh, spirit levels here. This is a, 600, a 60 centimeter spirit level. This is a post a corner level, so this would allow me to see whether the post the uprights that I add are level or not. Of course, I have a hand saw, which I rarely use. Uh, an ordinary pencil. My handy dandy tape measure. And that's pretty much it. I don't have any new plants yet. <laughs> But we'll see. On most days, I would hate myself for recording, for not filming part of the episode right now. Time check, it's 11.06 a.m. and the weather is really nice, it's pretty warm. Although I'm still wearing a jacket because it's quite windy. So the wind is cold, but if you're under the sun, you're in the sun. If you stand within the sunlight, then it's pretty warm. So I would imagine that it would be a really nice day to do some hard labor. Again, normally I would be Hating myself for wasting this time, you know, filming the recap, when I, which is why I usually prefer doing it at night because I'm not wasting any sunlight. But this is a special case. This is okay because I'm going back to Bunnings later at 1 p.m. to pick up the rest of the sleepers. I tried fitting the 2.4 meter sleepers inside the car and I could only get one to fit. Actually, if I really tried it, I could get maybe two or three, but I only brought home one just so I can test because I needed to know if I can use the car or not. Unfortunately, it's not, uh, it's not practical doing it that way and I thought that maybe I should just hire or rent a, a ute or a van. So I went to Bunnings a while ago to reserve one vehicle and I was booked for 1 p.m. So, I, I have the time until then, although I could do a bit of preparation work right now if I want to. But, but seeing that I haven't filmed my recap yet, now is a good time as any. So let's look at the comments. Let's start by looking at the previous recap. I've got a comment from Klebo1. Hey Chuck. So glad to come across your channel. You are like the Bob Ross of gardening. I have binged almost all of your vids. Do you have? Do you also get small black sucking bugs with ants on the blooms of the Echeveria? If so, how do you take care of them? Awesome, thanks man. Greetings from sunny South Africa. Thank you for the compliment. I, I like the comparison with Bob Ross because that man is really talented with the way he weaves a story into every brush stroke. There's a lot we can learn from him. Anyway, about your question about the bugs, I, I replied to your comment already. And what I said was, about those bugs, what I do is just go nuclear. I would chop off all of the flowers and apply a systemic pesticide. That way, none of the pollinators will be affected. That's my usual approach, especially since I learned from my past mistakes that if I, if I bit around the bush and try other stuff you know if I delay it a lot if I delay it a lot it's not as effective there's still a bit of spread I guess but if I go with systemic pesticides I I, st I, I am able to stop it right then and there but systemic pesticides are rather strong so just make sure to be safe you know just remove all of the flowers that way you won't affect the bees and that's pretty much it Next is from Denise Cook. Always love your videos and your style in landscaping. And Zach is always the icing on the cake. <laughs> yeah, I agree. From the Dubros one, 
wish I could buy some of your cuttings, Chuck, but living in Western Australia, I doubt it. Yeah, uh, I, I do mention Australia in my, in my call to action, but, but yes, there are limitations to where I can send. So I can only send to anywhere, any state in Australia except the Northern Territories, Western Australia, and Tasmania. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. And now we're going to have a look at episode 79, which is where I worked out the measurements of the planter. There are a few comments here. First one is from Kathy Gilbreth. Enjoy the videos always. Love seeing those huge aeoniums and your cute little girl. <laughs> Can't wait to see the next video. Yeah. It's hard to work with a baby wrapped around you, you know, but, but luckily I was done with the lifting and the bending and all I had to do was measuring. So by the time I had to watch over Nikki, it, it wasn't so bad. From Dulces for you. Hi Chuck, I was thinking, how about using pallets? Maybe not for all parts, but it can be a huge saving. Here in the US, it is easy to find them for free. I really like this suggestion because I forgot about pallets. I have a pallet. I actually have one pallet here, which I am using as my stand for my plants. And I originally got that pallet for this very reason, as uh, Dulces 4 US mentioned, to use as a cheap alternative to creating planter stands. And, <clears throat> and like in the US, it is also relatively easy to get the planters, to get the pallets for free. Unfortunately, they won't fit in my car. Well, I could barely fit it the last time I tried because there was uh, a pallet in one of my neighbors, uh, one of my neighbors was giving out a pallet, so I grabbed it, I just placed it in the car, and I think I had the, the, back, the, the back door open. I can't remember, but, but yeah, it, I remember it being a bit hard fitting it in, so it might be tricky. I might have to, I might have to look into borrowing someone else utility vehicle or something. I, I don't know, we'll see. From John Sheffield, you could use treated post instead of joiners or corner post. It might come out cheaper if feasible. I like this idea as well. It's nice that the last two comments are about alternatives for, to help me save. And I like your concern because I did post how much I might be potentially spending. If I go with the, if I go with the pre-built, no not pre-built, but the build your own system. And I'm thinking that I would use this, I would go through with the system, with the upright system, um, with the retaining wall system for the large planter. Then for the smaller ones, I'll go with alternative materials. So your comments, your suggestions are duly noted. I'll be using them in other parts. <clears throat> From the Dubrose one. What a great bunch of aeoniums. It will be great to see it all coming together. Best of luck, Chuck. Lots of work ahead. Yes, I can't wait to start and still a long way to 1 p.m. From Blissful Box. Good job, Chuck. Can't wait to see the end result. Your inspiration. Thank you so much. From Annie Long. Super dad. What a cutie pie. I can't wait to the progress of this project. <laughs> In the last episode, Zach did not have an appearance because he had his afternoon nap at the time I was filming. But at least you got to see Nikki. And finally, I put out a third video, which is about, it was an announcement update video about my tulips. So uh, if you've seen the video, I saw some buds growing from the ground. And I know for sure that they are tulips because they are right in the places, the spots where I marked them. And looking at it now, they seem to have grown even more. So maybe I can show you in the next episode. So I've got a few comments here and I'll just pick a few. From the Dubrose one, I never had any luck growing tulips, so fingers crossed you will have a lovely display. Yeah, I'm hoping all of them would grow. So far, only a few have uh, shot out the ground. So we'll see, maybe next, the next few weeks, we'll see more of them grow. Yeah. <clears throat> from blissful box 
Congrats, Chuck. They look awesome. I know this is not related to the video, but can you do a comparison video between Romeo, Ebony, and Red Rubin? And also Taurus. Very confused with this Agavoides. I really like this idea, and I'm going to do you one better. Instead of just comparing these ones, I'll include the other Agavoides that I have. Sounds fun. From Iza Zidlowska, Chuck, this is exciting news. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you. Where I live, squirrels love to eat the tulips. Many people choose to plant daffodils instead. Lucky we don't have squirrels then. <laughs> From Mary Al, hi Chuck, I really enjoy your programs, especially love moments like cleaning dead leaves or watering. Wow. <laughs> you are very fortunate to be able to follow your dreams and be creative. Thanks. I watch almost all your videos and I'm sure you're mentioning things there, but I was wondering about your climate and the conditions in Melbourne. If I heard right, I mean to do a bit of research about the temperatures and seasons of Melbourne and compare to those in Greece where I live, but it would be extremely helpful if you could dedicate an entire video talking about them. Also about how, when, with, what, and how often you fertilize your plants. Keep your spirit up. You are doing a great job and you are providing so much entertainment to all of us who can't yet build the garden of their dreams. So much stuff here. And I like your idea. I... Yeah, I think I'm going to make a series of videos about this. I just need the time to film. We'll see. If I have the time this weekend, I'll work on this as well. So, a request for the Agavoidis video and a request for this video. Yeah, this would be very interesting. And that's all the time we have for the recap. Right after this filming, I'll be going straight into the garden to continue working on leveling the ground because I'm preparing, I'm preparing the soil for when I add the sleepers and the steel uprights. And besides, I have the time to kill before I go back to Bunnings and pick up the trailer and um, the rest of the sleepers. So this is going to be a very busy day for me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell, that way you won't miss out on my future videos. I put out at least two videos a week. The first one would be the Let's Plant, which comes out every Tuesday morning my time, and that would be in the evening, in the East Coast USA. And the second video is the Recap, which comes out at Saturday evening my time, which is Saturday morning, East Coast USA. You could also check out my content at Instagram, that's at Seriscapades, and I post a photo of an Echeveria every single day under the hashtag DailyEcheveria. I better get back to my garden and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.